Hammersmith Hospital in London, where this groundbreaking organ donation took place. The identity of the patients involved is being protected. Doctors have simply disclosed that it was a baby girl who became Britain's first newborn donor. The parents are already going through a very difficult grieving process. And on the top of it, you are asking them to, to think about or make a decision about organ donation. But I would like to congratulate the parents for their brave and courageous uh, decision. The hospital carries out hundreds of transplant operations each year, but medics said this operation was incredibly difficult. The donor baby had been born in extremely poor health. After her heart stopped, her kidneys and liver cells were donated to two patients. There are very few newborn transplants worldwide, but experts are hopeful a change in the regulations here around diagnosing a baby's death will enable more to take place. By diagnosing brain death, we can allow organ donation when it's appropriate, and that will help the families of that child knowing that out of their tragedy, out of their disaster, has come life-saving benefits for others. And of course, it will also help not only the recipients of those organs, but their families as well. Experts are hopeful this will help the 185 babies waiting each year in the UK for a life-saving transplant. Sophie Hutchinson, BBC News, 